Long-running franchises eventually run into a transition point, a moment where developers can choose to change course into different visual styles, narrative tones, or their structure entirely. Kingdom Hearts is at that crossroad, and is about to tread into new territory not yet seen in the industry. There are a wealth of options to choose from in the AAA space. At times, some options begin to blend together. Today, the games that become standout experiences are the ones taking big risks in attempts to break convention, whether it be narrative-based risk, world design, or otherwise. The unexpected and bold is what captures an audience. Square Enix has many franchises either at this crossroad or that have already chosen to divert. Final Fantasy VII Remake's Uncertain Future continues to keep both old and new fans on the edge of their seats as they wait for hard questions to be answered in Rebirth. The potential altering of one of the best told narratives in the medium takes narrative structure to very unique places, something that can only carry the weight that it does due to the long-built legacy of Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy XIV has in the past year wrapped up the first 10 years of its narrative. It finds itself in a place where the entire direction of the game can shift into whatever they want as they take the game into a new era spanning the next decade. Endwalker changed what's possible in the MMO space. It contained a story that has been regarded as one of the best written in the industry, taking place in a genre that's known for anything but. A benchmark was set. Both of these games have choices to make, continuing to do what works or to go down brand new paths with potential to shake the medium. Square Enix has secured an exciting next five years for its most important franchises. Conversation amongst their audience is the most positive it's been in a very long time. It's being capitalized on at every opportunity. It's hard to ignore the fact that everything seems to be working in their favor. Square's most well-known franchise is in the midst of a renaissance. As a result, this success is a chance to bleed into more upcoming projects. Kingdom Hearts just had its 20th anniversary. From the very beginning, it was a risk. Combining Disney and Final Fantasy on paper is an idea that still seems unbelievable, but 20 years later the series has sold over 35 million copies across all entries. More than the other active Square Enix games, Kingdom Hearts is about to test just how far it can take world hopping narratives. The Darkseeker saga took an astounding 16 years to tell across 12 games. It was doubled down on time and time again that in order to follow what's happening in these worlds you need to partake in everything the series has to offer. It has, as the years pass, slowly become a more complicated task to be a newcomer to the series. This is the most opportune time to attract an even larger fanbase. Making people believe in Kingdom Hearts seemed like a tall order in the days of its inception. Despite the large fanbase of many of Disney's IP, Kingdom Hearts had to also win people over with its original cast of characters that resemble the character designs familiar to fans of the Final Fantasy series. Final Fantasy's characters being used as a third pillar in early franchise history was a means to give the series an easier jumpstart. Not only did their inclusion assist in establishing Kingdom Hearts as a big player in the action RPG space, but they became a staple. Over time, as the Kingdom Hearts cast grew large, the Final Fantasy characters were making less and less appearances. They had served their purpose. While Nomura viewed them as an incentive, fans had other plans. Kingdom Hearts, as it enters a new saga, is starting off with quite the tone change. It's been noted that the inclusion of Disney while still there will be less of what you're used to. In place seems to be a focus on more realistic environments and what so far feels like a darker tone. It's no secret that Nomura looks to rebuild the once lost Versus 13 within Kingdom Hearts. It's just unprecedented that it's happening at this scale. It seems a large part of the continuing narrative of the game is going to be revolving around Yazora. What becomes so interesting about the inclusion of Yazora and potentially the cast of Verum Rex is that by design and obvious parallels they might as well be Final Fantasy characters. It's this upcoming narrative twist that could be the perfect segue for a return to series roots. The first two mainline Kingdom Hearts games had an ongoing conflict between Cloud and Sephiroth, one that did not get a continuation in 2019's Kingdom Hearts 3. This was due to the need to focus on a massive cast of wholly original characters in order to wrap up the Darkseeker saga. However, with where the series is currently headed, there will likely be a much bigger focus on a smaller set of characters. Artistically, Quadratum looks like a Final Fantasy playground. 
or, you know, Insomnia. The cast of Final Fantasy VII were very popular when Kingdom Hearts first debuted, hence the inclusion of many of its characters. Right now, in 2023, Cloud and Sephiroth are as popular as they've ever been. With the success of Seven Remake and multiple sequels on the horizon, bringing back these characters is a cross-marketing slam dunk that would be welcomed by everyone. It becomes a mutually beneficial inclusion to Kingdom Hearts 4 for fans of both franchises. New fans of Seven Remake would be very incentivized to begin their journey through Kingdom Hearts, and Kingdom Hearts fans get exactly what they want. Because of how well Final Fantasy is doing right now in all verticals, it's the best road to go down. Especially considering the direction Kingdom Hearts is headed in is tailor-made for such a clash. There is a crowd that still has desire for the untold story of Versus 13. Delivering parts of this story through Kingdom Hearts 4 pulls even more Final Fantasy fans. There's no doubt the fourth entry needs to have clear goals for the best case turnout. The lesser presence of Disney Worlds in the game is that moment. Last Nomura spoke on the inclusion of more Final Fantasy based characters, he was still trying to find the correct balance. It's not often crossovers of this caliber can happen without feeling forced in and out of place. Square Enix has with its most important franchises been taking risks big and small. Risks that help push areas of game development in the direction of the unknown. Having the ability to go into projects with no clue where you'll be taken are the highs of creative storytelling. Even if not every beat lands, going this far to see what's possible continues to be more exciting than following a convention, something Kingdom Hearts has always opposed.